Are you lacking commitment? Maybe you're not following through on your goals or your commitments like you want to. I know I've been there before and I'm sure you're a little frustrated with yourself, you're a little upset, or maybe you even give, gave up so far. Look, my name's Joe Mavu with Master Life by Design and today's video is are you lacking commitment to your goals? I wanna give you three simple strategies that allow you to stay fully committed. Look, we've all been there before, right? Where there's something we've committed to and we just haven't followed through on it. We just, our commitment wasn't there. In the beginning it was, but somewhere along the way, I kind of got lost in this sauce, right? Like in the shuffle, it's like, where did it go? Where was my commitment to these goals, to this person, to this project, whatever it might be? And we all have those moments where we lack the commitment. And so I was talking with a client earlier today before I made this video, and he had this fitness goal and he was doing well, but he had an injury that was reducing the amount of physical activity he could do. And he's like, and we started breaking it down and going through it. And what we discovered is, hey, you know, he can still commit to that goal and achieve it. He just is gonna have to go, you know, to release the weight, he's gonna have to go swimming. That was his alternative for his back and everything like that. But he said something interesting and I had to call him on it. He's like, it's just not convenient though. And I said, you don't need it to be convenient. You just need it to be completed. And for him, he's like, oh, wow, that stood out to him. And, and I say that to you, you don't need things to be convenient when you're in pursuit of a goal or a project or a person, right? Like you need to get it completed. You need to do the job and however you do that. But what stops people from following through like getting, and being that committed and completing the things? And so today I wanna to be able to share three simple strategies on that. So the first one is you have to be really clear and you have to have your purpose. And so let me make it clear here is that if I was to take my lens right here and I was able to turn it, which I don't wanna do because then I'd have to fix it and I don't know how that well. <laughs> but if I was to turn it, you guys would see me a lot more blurry. You wouldn't see me as clear as you guys could see me right now. If your goals or whatever you're working towards or whatever you committed to, if you don't have clarity of what that end result is, and it's gotta be compelling, right? Like that end result's gotta be compelling. And if you don't have that clarity, you're not gonna follow through, you're not gonna commit, you're gonna be like, well, why even go on this adventure? Why even continue? I don't even know where we're going, right? Like you can't see that. You must have a crystal clear, compelling vision, but it can't just be clear, you gotta have purpose behind it. Like purpose I think is like gasoline, it fills the tank. And your purpose has to be able to pull you, right? And so we hear that all the time, but I really wanna drill that home because it's so true. There's no secret, it's the simplicity of having that clarity and that purpose that's really that really compels you. The challenge is we're like, oh yeah, I just wanna make more money so I can live the life of my dreams. And they're like, oh, excited, and want a big house, but they don't know how many bedrooms, how many square feet, what, how tall are the ceilings, how many car garage, you know, where's the location, what's the view, for how, you know, what's the view from your bedroom, how much light's in there, like, they, they're not that clear and they don't know why they're doing it. So it's like they have this destination and there's barely any fuel in the tank and it's like, you're not gonna ever get there. You gotta get clear and you gotta have a purpose. The second one is you must have accountability. See, <clears throat> whenever you have a common result with someone and that there's accountability towards that, your statistically speaking, your results catapult. And so I wanted to share this with you, right? This is a great book, The Spartan Way, I highly recommend it, but they did a study in here, uh, Dominican University of California, 260 people, and they took five groups, right? And they basically had them think about their goals, group one, they had them think about it and write it, and then think about it, write it, and meditate on it, and then, um, and then from there, they had to write an action plan. Group four were asked to share their goals and group five was to do all the rest and have someone that they had to answer to uh, one day a week to update them on daily progress. And what they came out with was that the group five, which publicly committed their goals and shared their weekly progress updates, 76% of the participants either completed or nearly completed their goals. So if you want a hack, really a simple hack that's really clear, you know, science-based is, 
You know what? Have an accountability group. Share with them or share with that individual. Get a coach, a mentor, uh, a friend, someone that you can be accountable towards and let them know how you're doing each week. The reason why most people don't follow through and they're not committed is they don't have anyone to commit to. They don't have anyone to give them crap if they don't follow through. You need someone on your butt when you don't follow through. When I was in the Marine Corps in boot camp, you know, if like we didn't follow through on something, the drill instructors, they were on us. I mean, on us, like almost sometimes physically on us, right? And so you got to make sure someone is on you, all riding your coattail saying, hey, where are you at? What are you doing? What do you need to shift? What do you got to make different? What do you got to do different? Where are you, why aren't you up at four o'clock? Let's go. Right? You need that accountability. And so, and you can be that accountability to someone else too, especially if you guys are in the same group, right? So that's the second one. And the third and final one that really allows you to follow through is what's the story that you tell yourself? <clears throat> See, the story of why you can't or why you won't or why you don't, that story is playing. That's why you're not committed. And the more you tell yourself that story, the less likely you, you are to be committed and follow through. So if you're going to be able to make that shift, you have to change your story to, it doesn't matter if I don't feel like it. It doesn't matter if I'm, if I'm not compelled to. What matters is that it gets completed, right? All that matters is, is the job done, right? Like if you were in special forces, they don't care what you have to do and what you have to go through to get the mission complete. All they care is, did the mission get complete, right? They wanna know, did the mission get complete? And that's the story you tell yourself, man, I don't care, people don't care what I have to go through, it's just, it's just gotta get done, it's just gotta get done. Or maybe the story is like, hey, once this is done, it's done forever, right? Whatever that compelling story is for you, you need to change the story you tell yourself in your head. I'll tell you, if you change your story, your life, it's, your life will change. Right now, you might sit there and say, you know, I don't feel like doing X, Y, Z. But if you sat there and you told yourself, I, I'm excited to do X, Y, Z, I'm excited to do X, Y, Z, I'm excited to do X, Y, Z, all of a sudden, you, you're not gonna be like, oh my God, let's go! But you will be like, okay, I feel a little bit different. And you can build off of that momentum. But so what happens is we tell ourselves this deep story over and over and over. It's like we constantly are, uh, um, getting trapped and sinking in quicksand. And then you're like, all right, I, I'm excited to do this. I'm excited to do this. And it's like, you're barely getting out of the quicksand, right? And so the goal is not to allow yourself to sink. It's allow yourself to stay neutral and then get out of the quicksand. Change your story, change your life. So what's the story you need? What are you facing that you're lacking commitment in? Is it commitment in your body? Is it a commitment in your making the sales call? You know, the high performing entrepreneurs that I talk to and coach, they just, they sometimes some of them fail to make the calls. And it's a story. And if we think about it and we put that spotlight on it, it's like, oh, I don't feel like it. Or, or you know what? I'm not going to get the result or they're going to hate me. Right? Like, those are the stories that play out that we kind of peel back the layers to find. And it's like, honestly, half the time it's not true. But for them, it's real. And so if you change that story, all of a sudden, you're, you're going to start following through. You're going to be more committed. And so I encourage you to go get clear. Get your purpose, right? Pain and pleasure. Immediate pain if you don't do it. Immediate pleasure when you do do it, right? And then from there, you got to get your accountability group. I don't care who it is. There's an accountability group for everything. And if there isn't one, go make one. And if there isn't one and you can't make one, go hire someone to be your accountability buddy, right? It's going to be money well worth spent. And then the last one is your story. What's the story you're telling yourself first? What does the story need to be to help you follow through? It doesn't have to be something big or loud or, you know, this you know grandioso story. It's just like, hey, you know what? I, I love taking massive action on my goals. I love make. I've always follow through on my commitments, right? Whatever that is, something simple. But you got to figure out what that is. And so some of us, we're just lacking commitment. And it's because we're unclear. We're not really sure why. We also don't have the accountability. Or maybe it's even our story. You ship those three things. Those three simple strategies will allow you to follow through. And when you put them all together, it's a recipe for success. Don't believe me? Try me.
And if it doesn't work, comment below and I want to know why. And usually it's a story. And I guarantee you, if I ask you, you know, tell me your crystal clear vision and your compelling future, why exactly? I can guarantee most of the time, it's not a level 10 out of 10 for most people. But hey, comment below. I'd love to know what is your compelling future? What's your, what are you excited about? What are you not committed to? What haven't you been committed to that you're now committed to? I want to know. Hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe. We're having three videos a week so that you can get the updates. Put that notification on there. And click that little bell so you can get notified when they come up. And then we're going to be delivering more videos. And if you really, really, really feel like you're stuck, you really can't, you're not committed for whatever reason, you just can't seem to follow through, we want to help you. We want to be able to, myself or our coaches, we want to be able to find out what's really stopping you. Because at the end of the day, when you do complete something, when you are rocking, you're making the world a better place. And so fill out that coaching application down in the description below, the one-on-one -on -one coaching application. Someone will reach out to you. You deserve it, right? We're tired of you not following through. It's time for you to follow through. It's time for you to be committed. It's time for you to step up. Go to that next level. Make the impact. Make the income. Get the relationship, the body that you want. So with that being said, my name is Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Have a great one. See you guys.